Oh, sorry, I'm recording. <laughs> Pushed the wrong button. Hi. <laughs> I cut a little bit of my tail end of my lunch. Actually, it's my breakfast, which I love the days when I'm having breakfast at 10.30. 10.30, because that means I'm going to have a good food day. Um, hi, I am back. Um, my husband cornered me last night in the kitchen. Said, you know, I haven't seen many videos from you lately and just wondering how you're doing. And, um, haven't really, I guess he's noticed some changes in, is this getting blurry? If I shake, does it get blurry? Um, sorry. Um, he's noticed some changes in my behavior and I think he was getting a little nervous that I was falling off the wagon and that kind of thing. And, um, so I, um, took his, um, his, uh, what's the word? Concern to heart. First I got defensive, um, as is my usual self. And then I realized I really have kind of been slacking quite a bit. Um, so thank you, sweetheart, if you're watching this video today. He mentioned that I hadn't done videos and, and that he just hadn't heard me talking about, ah, is my camera doing that? I'm so sorry. That stinks. Um, I haven't been doing videos and he hasn't heard me really, he hasn't just noticed a lot of restraint when I'm eating and I seem to just kind of be slipping little snacks here and there and stuff like that. So, um, thought about it all night and this morning and decided this morning I am back to day one, not the liquid diet. I did that for a couple days. I tried for a couple days and it's really hard to do a full liquid diet when you don't have to technically. So, um, I did like shake in the morning, shake in the afternoon, but I ended up having a dinner or a little snack or something during the day. But something that I did in the very beginning that I realized I'd stopped doing is I had made, I'm a checklist girl. I'm big on checklists. I had made a checklist where I have, you know, I put the date and then I have all the things I need to get that day, like my, um, how many grams of food protein, how many grams from protein drinks, um, how many minutes, water, like all my little guidelines and stuff. And then it has my breakfast, which vitamins I'm supposed to take. And then at breakfast time, ah, sorry, breakfast time, what I'm supposed to be getting. Then I have a shake, then at lunchtime, I'm so, and, and it's, I could just check things off and write in a little slot over here, the amount of protein that I have, uh, I have gotten that day. So in the beginning, I wasn't counting calories. <laughs> I have no idea why it's doing that. Um, in the beginning, I wasn't counting calories. I was just focusing on my protein. I was eating and weighing everything. Um, and I was losing weight. Like, ah, fuzzy camera. I'm so sorry. Ah, worst video ever. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's where I am. I printed some more of my little checklists back out. Um, so if you got to make yourself a checklist and that's something you need to keep yourself in, in balance, um, that's something I realized that I can sit out on the counter and I can see it. My husband can see it, what I've done that day. Um, if it's not on the checklist, I can't eat it or drink it. So the snacking's going to stop again. The snacking had really snuck in there. Um, for some reason in my mind, there's snacks that are okay, like granola or peanuts, or there's just things that I think are okay because they sound like healthy food to me. <laughs> and I, I know I can have them in moderation. I can have a little bit, bit of granola on a yogurt or I can have um, peanuts, but, but I don't, I can't seem to moderate. Moderation sounds nice, but I just can't quite seem to do that. It's either all or nothing. So, um, this will cut out some of that snacking, get me back where I would like to be. I have been losing the same two to three pounds over and over and over again. I will lose it and then I'll gain it and then I'll lose it and I'll gain it. And it's frustrating. Um, so it looks like I'm plateaued, which I, I'm not, I'm actually gaining and losing, gaining and losing. I'm not just behaving and having the scale not move. So, um, that's where I am today. Um, it's really hot here. So I'm dealing with the whole, not much clothing as you know, those of us who are overweight. Um, but I'm finding that I'm feeling okay about it. It's not horrible. Um, um, so that's good. That's a, a that's a plus a non-scale victory. Um, it gets a little frustrating with, um, when you have surgery, and you've gone to that length, that length, and then you slip up, I find that the guilt is astronomically more than when I used to slip up before because I've, I'm screwing something up that I'm blessed to have. Not everyone qualifies, not everybody 
can have this done and I have had it done and then I'm screwing it up and the guilt is just crazy. Um, that's something I wasn't prepared for because I never thought about screwing up. I never thought about the weeks where I would just throw whatever I'd done away and just go revert back and, and, and all that stuff. And the guilt is um, crazy. So I've been very depressed. There, there are a lot of reasons why. I, I, I'm, I'm cooped up in my house. I work from home. My kids are home. I have a lot of work. Summer's a busier work time for me. So, um, um, that is one reason I get kind of down, you know, I'm, I'm home all the time. Um, but I was feeling very depressed lately, like really big funk. Like I didn't want to make videos. I didn't want to watch videos. I didn't want to even answer messages, that kind of thing. And I think it was because of the guilt that I've been feeling and because my camera is <laughs> driving me crazy. I'm so sorry about that guys. Anyway. Oh. And look at that. Look what I've got there. Do y'all see that? That would be bones. I've got bones. Oh, look at that. Nice. Anyway, um, that's where I am. Don't mean to ramble. Um, so good week. I'm going to get a new camera. <laughs> no, I, I actually have a college roommate weekend this weekend and all of my college roommates are skinny and they have a pool and we go on kayaks and they have boats and all this stuff so it's all in your bathing suit the whole weekend crabbing and all that kind of stuff so at least this year I'll feel better than I have in the past I'm hoping for some compliments um that'll be nice uh, um I haven't seen them in a couple years we usually go every year but I didn't go last year because we had a sick kid so got that this coming weekend so I'd like to lose a few more pounds before this weekend just so I know I'm the best that I can be going into that so I hope everybody else has a great week, and if you need to refocus, figure out how you need to do it. Um, r recognize that that's what it is. You just need to refocus, that you're not a failure. I actually used that word about myself a couple times this week, that I'm a failure. Um, those thoughts were creeping back in about um, about myself and, and my ability to do this and to change my life. and. Um, I think it was even worse because I've had surgery. So um, be ready for that. It's going to happen. You're going to mess up. And the guilt, the the anger at yourself, the self-loathing, I think was worse for me because I've, done, I've had surgery and I'm still messing around and doing dumb stuff. So um, I wasn't prepared for that. I was really depressed about it, really feeling bad about myself, really tearing myself up, beating myself up. So um. But now I'm back with my little checklist. Just finished my breakfast. It's going to be a great day. Um, and I hope everybody else is, is doing well. And if you're feeling in a funk and you don't want to make videos, you don't want to watch videos, do it anyway. Because I think that we're here to support each other and keep each other going. And, and um, I think I need it as much as I don't want to admit that I just keep gaining weight and losing gain weight and gaining weight and losing weight. Um, you know, at least I'm not gaining, 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 which is my um, usual method of operation. So... Um, I'm losing it in between, so staying around the same place is good for me as well. So I need to, I need to focus on the positive through all this. So that's it from me, guys. Um, not too inspiring for anybody, for anybody, but um, maybe I need to get over that. Maybe I need to get over the pressure of that too, feeling like I need to be something to somebody else. Um, I started this journey solely for myself, solely to. Why would you do that? Solely to document my journey for myself. And somewhere along the way, I think I started feeling a little pressure, which is I don't want you all to feel bad because it's, it's me putting that on myself, um, that I had to be great every week and always have something inspiring to say and have a video that's worth posting, but I need to do this for me too. So there you have it. Um, stick with me, guys. I'm learning through all of this um, as well. So. Everybody have a great day. This is a rambly one, um, almost 10 minutes, I'm sorry. Everybody have a great day. Get some collarbones. And sit like this, it makes you feel prettier. <laughs> yeah, they kind of go away, yeah. No, it's still there, even when I go. Look at that, bones, ah, bones! Bye! <laughs>